Revised, Chapter 1. Sonic in the Search for Love, Chapter 1. Sonic just received a message from Princess Sally. The note said I have to see you right away. I have some urgent news to tell you. Sonic rushes off as fast as he can in order to see the princess. Sonic gets to this massive castle that is completely made out of cement, plywood, and some other things. Sonic sees Sally in the throne room, which has two bright golden chairs, red curtains, candles designed to look like Sally's face, and pearls shaped into a big giant heart. What the matter, Sally? says Sonic. I have to tell you something very important, but I'm not sure how to tell you this, says Sally. Go on, Sally. I'm right here. Whatever it is, you can tell me, says Sonic. Okay, I'll tell you because I trust you and we've been friends for years. There are some new laws my father told me to tell you and show you some stuff also. That one, my father, not here, says Sally. The new laws are as follows. You must get and receive a blowjob from anyone you talk to for more than 30 seconds except your parents and relatives. Two. You must also drink all their cum, and if they happen to pee while you're doing this, you've got to drink it. Three, you can now masturbate anywhere you want to know, even while you're standing there talking to your parents' relatives. Four, sex is now forced after you give and receive a blowjob. You have to have sex with them. Five, the guy can now tell the woman, no gays or lesbians, what to do after sex for an hour after they have sex. For example, you can tell her to drink her own vomit and make her eat shit and yours. That's all the laws now, Sonic, so now I'm going to have fun with your dick in my mouth and your tongue in my pussy, which is getting wet just by thinking about it, says Sally. These laws are also only for us. Once you leave here and go to a town, you've got to follow their laws no matter what. Sonic and Sally slowly undress each other. While Sonic was taking off Sally panties, he was fingering her, and Sally was playing with Sonic dick while taking off his underwear. And my dad walked in. Hold on. All right, uh, now we're back with the story. A couple days later, uh, I'm picking up recording. Uh, right, let's go right where we left off. Um, they went down on each other. Sally was just about to suck Sonic dick while he just had to take a huge leak right into Sally's mouth. Sally forced herself to drink as much as she can and didn't mind the taste of it. Sally and, uh, Sonic enjoyed peeing into Sally's mouth and felt her sucking on his cock right after she drank it all down. Sonic licked her pussy and enjoyed her sweet, tasty cum and his mouth. Sally just finished sucking Sonic off and drank all cum right down. Sally uses her left hand and starts playing her pussy. Sonic, next time when I play with my pussy, I'm going to cum on my food and on my toothbrush because I want to taste it any chance I get. Sonic, I want your dick right in my butt and just when you're about to cum, stick it in my pussy. Sonic his dick right into her butt and sally screams in pain and then tells sonic to keep going yes sonic yes keep going it feels so good says sally sally i'm going to come soon so turn over so i can come inside you pussy says sonic sally turns around just in time for sonic to stick his dick inside her pussy to come <sighs> that felt so good sonic i want to feel that joy as much as possible is there anything you want me to do for you now that you will feel your deepest darkest desire says sally there one thing for sure, Sally. I want you to play with yourself without stopping for a whole hour. Sally start playing with herself while she takes a leak on the floor. There one other thing, Sally. I want you to lick your up your own pee or I'll farther the king you broke one of his laws. Sally starts licking up her own pee while playing with herself. Sonic stands there and watches. He enjoys this so much he had to pee again. Sally opens up, says Sonic. Sally opens her mouth while Sonic pees into her mouth. Sally drinks it all down and is now used to the taste by now. A half an hour later, this there was a huge crash at the door. Sonic and Sally, my daughter, what are you doing, says King Acorn. We're just following the new laws you issued for us all farther, says Sally while still playing with her pussy. Oh, those laws, I'm sorry, you two, I just got to get used to my daughter in this position. I'll leave you two alone, and Sonic, I'll let you tell my daughter do whatever you want any time of the day. Feel free to spend the night and control my daughter for me, says King Acorn. I will, and I'll have your daughter busy all night so she won't bug you about anything, says Sonic. The king leaves the room, and Sonic has control over Sally as much as he wants to be. Sonic then keeps Sally playing with her pussy without stopping for the whole night and whatever else he could think of. The next day, Sonic got a blowjob and a quickie from Sally and said he had to go meet Tails and not whole village at his place in half an hour. Sonic ran at Sonic's speed and just got there in time to see Tails. Tails was talking to his uncle when he showed up. "'Where were you?' asks Tails. "'I was the castle with Sally,' she said for me and Tails to go out and destroy an Eggman factory that near the floating island. 
She said we should go right now and there will be a surprise when we get back, says Sonic. I know this is a lie, but I don't want to arouse suspicion on what me and Sally were doing yesterday, Sonic says to himself. See ya, Uncle Chuck. Me and Tails will be back later, says Sonic. Have a good time and teach that Eggman a lesson, says Uncle Chuck. They both head off on Anther Adventure. Sonic starts to remises about past and what they've been through. Sonic the Hedgehog and Mills Tails have been best friends for years and lived in Not Whole Village with Sonic Uncle and Tails' dad. They had some amazing adventures fighting off evil Dr. Eggman and his sidekick Snively, who is Eggman relative. There have been a lot of happy memories between them. They found a factory that was different from the other factories they've destroyed over the years. They went inside and saw no security at all in the place. Tails looked to see what was on the computers there. Tails got to a screen that said password on it and typed Eggman in. The password worked, and then alarm sounded. A countdown had begun and had 30 sec to get out of the place before it blew up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sonic and Tails ran for it and managed to get out just in time before it blew up. That was close, and I wondered if that alarm triggered anything besides the factory blowing up, says Sonic. That was extremely too close for comfort, and the alarm might have triggered something evil from Eggman so he could destroy the village, says Tails. Tails let head back to Knothole and see what's happening down there, says Sonic. They were trying to get back as fast as possible to the village, and Sonic was carrying Tails so they could get there quicker. Tails went down on Sonic and grabbed his package. Tails slowly caressed his hand around his member and started playing with it. When this happened, Sonic stopped as quickly as possible because his not was mind was on what his best friend was doing. This is the first time this has ever happened to him with a guy. Sonic lied on the ground while watching what his best friend was doing. Tails, they turned around and stuck his penis right in front of his best friend's face. Sonic grabbed his friend Memor and stared playing with it and stared jerking him off. He looked down at his friend and started saying, so, Okay, um, this is the same thing as before. Something's more because there's more than that in my house. Meanwhile, while this was going on, they set off my trap and the precious village will be destroyed once and for all. Snively, send all the robot we have near that area. I have Anther matters to attend to, like my takeover of Pouncefield. Sonic will have no control over there and has no way of stopping me, says Eggman. Sir, I've launched all the robots and I made sure no one would detect us who are deeply hidden, says Snively. Good, then. Let's continue the plane, says Eggman. The robots headed to Knothole in order to destroy the place. They only saw Bunny and Uncle Chuck standing there while the other villagers fled from danger. You ready, Bunny? asks Uncle Chuck. Yes, Serge, are you? asked Bunny. Yes, and hope my son gets here. They held out for five minutes while Uncle Chuck got shot right between the eyes. Bunny went to see if he was alive, and they shot Bunny right in the back with no mercy whatsoever. She got up one final time and looked right at them. One of the robots had a chainsaw for an arm and cut all her robot parts off her body. Bunny was crying in pain and begging for mercy from them. The robot didn't stop. He kept cutting any slowly at her. The only that was left was her chest and her head. The robot cut her boobs right off. The robot made her eat all her own flesh, then gave her pussy on a pedestal. Then the robot said, if you can get your pussy off this pedestal, then you will live, but if you don't, I'm going to cut your ears off and feed them to you. Bunny managed to roll over and knock her pussy off the pedestal and started licking it out. She licked herself out until she cummed. She then started to actually eat her own pussy and was licking herself out too. Her pussy was all gone and was made she couldn't lick herself out anymore. I'm surprised you did that, but you're still going to die, said the robot. The robot cut off her ears and feed them to her and then took out her eyes. The robot had a little more fun with her before he killed her. They finally got back to Knothole when they saw robots of Eggman all over the place. So this is where they were and our omission was a trap set by Eggman, says Sonic. Tails agreed with him, and just at the moment, Sonic went at sonic speed and destroyed all the robots in the village. Then he saw two bodies lying on the ground. It was his dad and Bunny, his other best friend, and said to him earlier that day, as soon as you get back, you will see me naked and have sex with me because I finally decided how far I'm willing to take our relationship. Uh, same thing before, the one year earlier, not having sex, just jerking themselves off. His tongue and his member were getting sore. Less than five hours. Continuing on for the next two hours, uh, while they're still on each other's privets. Uh, and now she dead. No pulse in dad. Tails told he'd make him feel a lot better tonight, so he forget all his troubles. Funeral service. Uh, he was mourning and crying. Someone came to Tails' house. Uh, he lost her girlfriend and Uncle Chuck. Uh, come to my room. Uh, another... Part of the graves, shakes off, dirt was coming off, they were both in shock to see who it was. The person came into the house and said, are you surprised to see me? This is the revised chapter one. I hope you like this one better.